Long live the king, the Mewtwo king. And I would love to see Mewtwo king kick some ass in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. The only issue is that he doesn't play too much, but that doesn't matter because I want to suggest three characters I think he should main where he doesn't even need to solo commit to Smash Ultimate to succeed so much as them. The thing with Mewtwo King is that he's already a Smash Master. He doesn't need to pick a character that's very complicated because then that wastes his time because that means he has to go really deep into learning that character. He needs a character that relies mostly on fundamentals. However, the characters I'm going to suggest aren't necessarily purely fundamental. You do need to learn every character in this game if you want to play them properly, but I do think it is a very nice level of depth and reward for playing that character. Mewtwo King must have read my mind because even though he used to main Bowser, he's definitely leaning towards Mr. Game & Watch now and that is the first character I would suggest for him. Mr. Game & Watch has some really strong matchups against some very relevant characters like Pikachu, Pichu, Ness, Lucas. Uh, Lucas ain't that relevant but even uh, the Street Fighter characters like Terry, Ryu, and Ken. So I think that is very good to play Game & Watch. Whenever I watch Riddles and Esam do a 50 win challenge, it's often by a Randy Game & Watch that takes them out. So imagine a Mewtwo King Game & Watch. Imagine how much more he could do if it's Mewtwo King. The only issue with Mr. Mr. Game & Watch is that he does have some losing matchups that are actually pretty bad. Even though Mr. Game & Watch kind of proves me wrong that those matchups are all doable, I do think it would be difficult for someone who isn't a pure solo Game & Watch player to overcome them on a consistent basis. That is why I actually recommend another character, and there's a third character even though it's not necessary. So, you know, Mewtwo King can have some leeway if he thinks, you know, hey, maybe that DK Bill guy is onto something. Now, I don't usually recommend dual maining or especially try maining, but here's the thing. This is Mewtwo King we're talking about. We're not talking about someone who's struggling to master a character. We're talking about a Super Smash Brothers master who just wants to be able to pick up good characters who are really easy to get wins with because that's what anyone's looking for. Now the second character I would recommend would be a dual main with Mr. Game & Watch and that is Snake and let me explain why. Mr. Game & Watch, who does he lose to? For the most part, sword characters. He loses to disjoints and those are usually sword characters. And who does Snake beat? He's one of the only characters that could confidently say they tend to beat sword characters. Not many can beat sword characters in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Sword characters are so good. And here's the thing with Snake, when people swing a sword at Snake, they tend to explode grenades. That's why it's so good. Even though maybe it's not always like a plus one, it might be a slight advantage, or a lot of the time it's probably still even, it is still a much better matchup than for Game & Watch. A lot of people might say Snake is overrated these days, but I really don't believe so. I really think Mewtwo King has an understanding of that character and can pick him up in Ultimate, especially because he plays against Salem all the time. And Salem doesn't even use Snake that much. I know if he did, he would have a lot more success with him. I'm certain I've seen times where snake players make upsets on sword characters like Mr. E or a lot on Greninja players from Japan like MVD vs Leia and Greninja is definitely another character who Game & Watch struggles with. A final character who Game & Watch struggles with is definitely Zero Suit Samus but it is pure propaganda that Zero Suit Samus beats Snake. Uh, what do I think about the snake matchup? Dude, I straight up, this is a really complicated matchup for me to like rank. I still think it is a minus one uh, i know mvd thinks otherwise which is fine all you have to do to beat zero suit samus as snake and zero suit samus mains are gonna kill me for saying this on video and that is to hold down yes that crouch button by snake makes it impossible to hit him with any good move snake players do not crouch and crawl enough in that matchup it is so absurd to me and also for the record when zero suit samus combo snake uh, it can only really be with up airs, and it's pretty hard not to trigger the grenade with those. And even though a lot of people say Snake is overrated, I do still think he has tremendous results, especially online. There's tons of upsets still happening to this day. And let's not forget about Ally's gameplay because that was truly world class. And when you think about it, if Samsora didn't exist, is Peach really that good? If MKLeo didn't exist, is Joker really that good? If Mars didn't exist, is Zero Suit Samus really that good? A lot of times there's just that one world class player. And to be honest, there could be another world class snake player coming soon. I'm not sure if it's Mewtwo King, could be Salem, could be someone from Japan, but I believe it. Even though I believe Snake isn't overrated and he is very strong in Smash Ultimate, there are a lot of players who are very well rounded and efficient in the matchup because there's so many strong Snake players out there. And this is why I'm suggesting a third character for the ultimate trifecta. 
Now this character is also good at a lot of matchups Snake is good at, not quite as effective at covering all of them, but this character has a special flavor to it, and that is because this character can rob people, and that is not a bad pun even though the character is Rob. It is no coincidence that Zack Ray is now a Joker main and his two sidekick secondaries are Mr. Game & Watch and Rob because they cover so many matchups and they literally rob people. Even though Mr. Game & Watch isn't called Mr. Rob, he may as well be. This character can annihilate people. This character is forgiving because he is heavy. This character is easy to pick up because he is quite simple. Even though you can go in depth with him, I do think Mewtwo King can pick this character up and put in mad work. He's another character like Mr. Game & Watch who I see get upsets all the time, even though I feel like maybe the skill difference was significant, but they still make the upset. I think Mute King with these three characters, I know it is a big task, I know it is a tri main, I know this is unheard of, but this is Mewtwo King, the king of Mews, we are talking about the Smash Brothers legend. I don't want to put too much pressure on him, you know, I have zero expectations for him, I have zero expectations for everything in life, but I always have the highest of hopes. My expectations are negative 100, my hopes are positive 1000, and I believe with these three characters, these are the only characters Mewtwo King will ever need. Mewtwo King plays Bowser, he knows how to play a big character as well and Rob is just good Bowser. If Rob took off his suit, it would be Bowser, but Rob needs the suit so he could throw gyros and spew out lasers. So if you enjoy this video, if you have anything to say to Mewtwo King, say it in the comments because this video might get to him. Have a swell evening, hit that DK thumbs up if you enjoy my suggestions, and I actually suggest these characters to anyone who are new to the game because I do think these are the three characters who are probably easiest to win with and start performing well with. But that aside, I'll see you next time. Oh,